The Bengals have 10 picks in the 2024 NFL draft, which means they have to trade up, don't they? Package some of those picks together and get a better player? We will answer that question and much, much more right now on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to CBT. I'm James Rapine of SI.com, and make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, join the 43,000 plus that are already following the channel. Shout out to you for subscribing if you have. And by the way, the NFL Draft is nearly here. We will be at the stadium. We will be covering it wire to wire, and that's why you should subscribe right now. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at Rivertown Inquiry and RivertownInquiry.com. Doug and his team... Well, they have exactly what you're looking for when it comes to Cincinnati gear, whether it's a, it for the bourbon drinkers out there, Tiger Rocks glass, whether it's awesome Cincinnati hoodies, t-shirts, stickers, anything you could think of where you want to represent Cincinnati, whether it's orange and black, whether it's red and white, whether it's uh, the University of Cincinnati, whether it's Xavier, they have stuff that's going to fit FC Cincinnati that's going to fit you quality stuff. So check it out right now at rivertowninquiry.com are their two locations. And let's get into this idea, the Bengals trading up. And I'll say it right now, they better trade up. There's no doubt, they better trade up. Now we're gonna do a video on trading down too, but I look at it and the Bengals, they have a ton of picks. And I'll give you some trade up scenarios because I don't think the Bengals will trade up in round one. It's not something they've done historically. They haven't done it since the mid nineties. And I don't want to go down the, the history. You, you look behind me, you, you see enter the jungle right there. Uh, I, if you want the history of the Bengals, check out enter the jungle. You can get it at Cincinnati Bengals book.com or wherever books are sold, but let's not make fun of Kajana Carter or the trade up there. Cause it made sense at the time. It didn't work out. What I will say though, is that I do think a trade up could happen as early as round two. And let me give you the scenario because Johnny Newton tested this week. And if you look at Mel Kuyper's latest mock draft with Field Yates at ESPN.com, Johnny Newton falls all the way to 49 to the Bengals. If the Bengals take, let's say they take Amarius Mims in the first round, or they take Troy Fatanu, or they take insert whoever that isn't a defensive tackle, and Johnny Newton is there in the middle of round two, he falls to round two, let's say pick 38 with the Tennessee Titans. All right, well, you, you call the Titans and you say, hey, we will give you 49 and pick 97 to move up to 38 to get Johnny Newton. Because Johnny Newton is one of the rare disruptors, one of these rare elite defensive tackles. And so I, I think that that scenario is sort of unlikely still, despite the smoke around it. By the way, Dane Brugler gave Johnny Newton a, ground, a round one slash two grade, which means he could certainly see him falling to round two. And so could it happen? Absolutely it could. I'm not saying it will. But that's one scenario where the Bengals could trade up in round two. I could also see them trading up at pick 80 and, or pick 97 or pick 115 or pick 149. And that's where it kind of stops. Could they move up in round six or seven? Sure. But the quality of the player, there's a deep drop. But what they will do and what we've seen them do, they traded up for Cam Taylor Britt a few years ago because he was the last corner that they felt like was in this bucket of tier of player that they wanted to make sure they got. And he was the last guy. So they moved up, I believe, from 63 to 60, something like that. It was just a few spots, but they wanted to secure that guy. Then later in that draft, they did the same thing with Tyson Anderson. That was in the fifth round. The Bengals have 10 picks. Two sixth rounders, two seventh rounders, two third rounders. There's no reason why they can't package some of these picks together to move up if needed. Let's say things break their way and they get an offensive tackle and then they find the right wide receiver at some point on day two, and they find the right defensive tackle, and there's a tight end that's falling, and they pick 115 in round four. And they're like, oh man, the tight end is there to start day three. Well, maybe that's when you consider moving up. And maybe you give up your fifth rounder if you need to. Maybe you give up both sixth rounders if you need to. But whatever the case is, quality over quantity, I certainly think that's where the Bengals will be when it comes to 10 picks. Now, do they value their draft picks? Absolutely. Are there scenarios, and I'll do it in another video, where they could trade down? Absolutely there is. But I also expect them to trade up. I do not think that they're going to add 10 players to their roster in this year's draft. 
the two sevenths, the two sixes. One of the the mocks I did for SI.com a few weeks ago, they packaged both six rounders and got another fifth rounder, and they were able to add Luke McCaffrey, a slot wide receiver out of Rice, obviously Christian McCaffrey's brother, and signed me up all day long. Ed McCaffrey's son, who was a longtime stud receiver for the Denver Broncos. Yeah. If you could do that, you do it, especially if you haven't addressed that slot wide receiver position. He does have size, though, to play more than just slot. So certainly someone, that's just a scenario I would toss out there. I think they could do it uh, a bunch of different ways. If they need to address defensive tackle still, if there's a mid-round interior offensive lineman, a uh, running back, like Audric Estime, let's say they have a round two grade on Audric Estime, and he's there at uh, at the end of day two which a lot of people project him to go early day three and you feel that highly about him well take one of those sixth rounders and move up from 115 to 110 or 115 to 108 or whatever it takes to get that guy because if that's who is screaming at you in your head and on your board uh, as great value well then go do it And, and i certainly think the bengals could do it so we will see but i really do expect them with 10 picks to trade up, maybe trade up multiple times. And that should make for an eventful draft, even if it means not necessarily trading up in round one. And I know some of you want to go that route, but you look at it, it feels like they're going to get a really high-end player in round one. We'll see who that is on Thursday, April 25th, and we will have you covered right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. So for Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Rapine. Make sure you check out this week's episode of Enter the Jungle. It is out now every Tuesday at 8. And until next time, thank you so much for watching Cincinnati Bengals Talk.